We're ready to uh, begin our worship. Uh, there's a couple of changes in COVID guidelines since uh, last time we met. Uh, the first guideline doesn't does this morning, but right now um, groups such as ours, organized groups, can have as high as 100 people in the house. And so it may not be affecting us so much for worship, uh, regular worship, but uh, for people with funerals and other things now, that makes it a little easier. Uh, when it comes to masks, uh, it's still the same. We have to keep our masks on at all and during worship. However, if you are speaking, you can remove your mask to speak or to sing when the time comes, if you are a soloist, and then you put your mask back on. Uh, for the final hymn, uh, we still have to keep our mask on for congregational singing. So if you're speaking, or in some time in the future, if you have a solo part, then you're allowed to remove your mask, put it back on again. We begin our worship and we'll have some music as we enter worship time. Good morning. And welcome to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to our time of worship and celebration. I'd certainly like to welcome those who are with us this morning online. There are many people connecting with us this morning. Just a couple of quick announcements this morning. Our campaign on a roll continues in support of the gathering place. And also we have a small fundraiser on the go if you want a unique gift for Mother's Day. You see details in your bulletin and also you have already seen it on a small table at the entrance of our church. You'll see examples of the items uh, that you can, uh, you can uh, register for and purchase for a unique gift for Mother's Day. We enter our worship. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. May his grace and peace be with you. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray. O oh God, your Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith, that we may see him in his redeeming work, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May be seated for the proclamation of the word. A reading from the first letter of John. 
See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did, know, it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sins is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's psalm is psalm number four, found in our bulletin. The refrain for today's psalm is, The Lord does wonders for the faithful. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? The Lord does wonders for the faithful. Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then, and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. The Lord does wonders for the faithful. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. The Lord does wonders for the faithful. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. The Lord does wonders for the faithful. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus himself stood among the disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do, you, why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see what I, what I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, these are my words that I had spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning with, from Jerusalem. You are the witnesses of these things. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. (coughs) 
Dear God, we give you thanks for your blessings to us this day. You call us brothers and sisters of your Son, Jesus Christ. It is in his name that we meet. It is his words that we consider. And it is his life that we pattern our own from. In his name now we pray your blessing as we look into his words. Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. The trees grew arms and legs, and they surrounded the cabin all night. What seemed like a lifetime ago now, it has to be at least 35 years, if not more ago, was a cub leader. And myself and another leader took a group of young guys to a cabin. And it was a cabin, cabin cabin, with no electricity, or any modern convenience, of course, a wood stove, a lantern. And the time of the night came where everybody was very quiet in their sleeping bags, and the young guys had flashlights, and they started competing, telling stories. And one young guy with the best imagination had the story of where the trees grew arms and legs and surrounded the cabin all night, creating quite a fuss, frightening everybody inside. Another boy, wanting to top that one, said the nails woke up. They left the wood that they were asleep in and ran away. And all the wood of the cabin fell to the ground and all the people inside stood outside in the night. They were afraid. So on went the stories that night. Quite a wonderful night spent with young people using their imagination. But you know, children have an open mind. All things are possible. To a young child, nothing is impossible. Ask a young child what their dreams are, but what they were to be when they grow up. You could get many responses. Everything from a fireman to a young girl wanting to be the first astronaut to walk on Mars to being a diver and and swimming to the the bottom of the ocean with the fish and the octopus and maybe Spongebob. You'd also, for the most part, have an open mind. For they can imagine a world where everybody gets along. People with different backgrounds, religions, race, color, sex, matters not. Everybody can live in peace and harmony one with another. But when we get a little older, Sometimes as we get a little older, our minds are open a little less. Sometimes we begin to close our minds and even set our minds on one way of thinking. The limits of life surround us and we close our minds to match. We never meet the right person, we say. I never meet the right person. I'm always making mistakes. I'll never make that sale. I'll never get the job I really want. I'll never reach my goals. And on it goes. A mindset based on the impossible, based on the things that we cannot do, or at least in our minds, in our mindset, we cannot do. In the Gospel, Today, the disciples are gathered together, and they're gathered in grief for the loss of Jesus, their friend, their teacher, their leader. And talking about all that he did, all that he said, in the past tense. Because, of course, Jesus was dead, he was gone. But Jesus then appeared to them. And, of course, he scared them to death. This is not possible. They were afraid because their minds couldn't reconcile what they'd seen a couple of days before and the man who stood before them now. It wasn't possible, and so they were terrified. Jesus said, peace be with you. He talked to them some more words. He ate some food in their midst, and he showed them his hands and his feet and his side. Jesus was real. He was alive. The resurrection was real. 
And then it says in the Gospel, Jesus opened their minds. A small group of people of little significance to the world entered the world and changed it forever. Ordinary people, or to many, even themselves, get it themselves less than ordinary, went into every place in the world with courage and faith and with open minds that all things are possible, that all of us are children of God, that we all have value, we all have purpose, we all can be forgiven, and we're all loved by a God that never fails to love. That the disciples dared to believe in a new world where these things and more were possible. That things can change for the best, for the good. To hope for a better tomorrow. To actually believe that you can have peace in the midst of a storm. Where the world is based not on greed or survival of the fittest, but a world can be based on love. As we get older, we sometimes set our minds in one direction. We freak out way too often. We give up way too quickly. We judge others too often. We withdraw from all that is possible to do what is easy. And we establish a mindset that sometimes is made up of can'ts and should nots and not possibles. But the good news is, is that mindsets can be changed. We can have a resurrection mindset to a new way of life, a new way of thinking, a new way of living. We can direct our mind on God and not so much what the world tells us that surrounds us. We can copy the ways of Jesus and not the negativity that sometimes people would want us to believe in. We can be more open to the world that is around us, more open to God, to copy the ways of Jesus. And the more we copy the ways of Jesus, the more our minds are open to what is possible rather than the impossible. To be positive where everybody around us is negative. To be filled with hope when the world tells us there is none. You must live in despair. To have peace instead of strife. To believe in yourself when the world tells you that you're not to be believed in and you are of no importance. Open our mind and dare to dream of a world based on justice, equality, where second chances and new chapters in one's life is possible. Dare to believe in a world filled with encouragement that can overcome words of discouragement. Dare to believe in a world where everything can work together for good. Dare to believe that we are again children of God, doing what the world says is impossible. Let us have a res resurrection mindset. Set our mind on God, His Son Jesus. Open our minds to a better way of life, a new world based on forgiveness and love. Dear God, we know that the world tells us many things, that we are not good enough and never will be, that things are impossible, that this is how things just have to be and throw up our hands. But we do know that with you many things and all things are possible, that we are valued, that you love this world, and that we must love it as well. In your son's name now we pray for the impossible to be possible. Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Let us confess the faith of our baptism as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, 
creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with the prayers of the people. The prayers of the people, third Sunday of Easter. In the flesh and bones of the risen Christ, the invisible God stands among us. Let us pray to God for the needs of all believers and of all peoples everywhere, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the holy churches in every place and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this holy assembly and for all who gather in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace from on high and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world and its leaders, our nation and its peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in danger and need, the sick, the suffering, and the oppressed, and for all the dead, today we pray especially for the victims of the bus crash in Saskatchewan and for their family and friends. Mm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, our families, and those we love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Join our voices with the Blessed Virgin Mary and with all the saints and angels of God. Let us offer ourselves and one another to the living God through Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, who sent Christ to suffer and rise from the dead. Hear our prayers which we offer through his presence. Proclaim forgiveness of sins to all nations. Glory to you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love and infinitely mercy. He welcomes sinners and invites them to his table. Let us confess our sins confident in God's forgiveness. <clears throat> Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved thee with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon live you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. We may stand as we pray together. Creator of all, you wash away our sins in water. You give us new birth by the Spirit and redeem us in the blood of Christ. As we celebrate the resurrection, renew your gift of life within us. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right that we should praise you, gracious God, for you created all things. You formed us in your own image, male and female you created us. 
When we turned away from you in sin, you did not cease to care for us, but opened a path of salvation for all people, made a covenant with Israel, and through your servants Abraham and Sarah, in the promise of a blessing to all nations. Through Moses you led your people from bondage into freedom. Through the prophets you renewed your promise of salvation. Therefore with them and with all your saints who have served you in every age, we give thanks and raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy God, source of life and goodness, all creation rightly gives you praise. In the fullness of time you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He healed the sick and ate and drank with outcasts and sinners. He opened the eyes of the blind and proclaimed the good news of your kingdom to the poor and to those in need. And all things he fulfilled your gracious will. On the night he freely gave himself to death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Gracious God, whose perfect sacrifice destroys the power of sin and death, by rising him to life, you give us life forevermore. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Recalling his death, proclaiming his resurrection, and looking for his coming again in glory, we offer you, Father, this bread and this cup. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts that all who eat and drink at this table may be one body and one holy people, a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord, through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Our glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we died with you on the cross. We were buried in your tomb. Now we share your resurrection. Live in us that we may live in you. The gifts of God for the people of God.
We may stand as we pray. Altar of life divine, in the breaking of bread we know the risen Lord. Feed us always in these mysteries, that we may show your glory to all the world. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Blessing of God, Almighty Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. We now sing our congregational hymn, All Shall Be Well. Thank mm-hmm. you.